whatever. Okay, so uh, obviously I don't think I could have um, stood up here today without uh, at least addressing what's on a lot of our minds right now, and that is this monster storm that's barreling through, that's already come up the Atlantic, devastated, literally devastated islands. Um, I mean, beyond recognition, repair, uh, just continuing to barrel through and just uh, like nothing we've ever seen before. And now as we sit here, that it's, do it's doing its thing in South Florida and working its way up the west coast of Florida. Well, I have to say that, um, you know, it's, uh, I, I thought yesterday from the reports and then they, you know, South Florida was out of the cone completely. I mean, like Miami and West Palm and I was like, well, grateful for knowing that Ed was there and Ellen's family, his mother was there and Ellen's family's down there and James, our dear James, I heard from him this morning. He's been texting me. He's doing, oh, he's doing fine. He's riding it out by himself. Uh, even though he had a place to go, he said that uh, he felt like he wanted to do it alone. And uh, so anyway, uh, there's been a lot, so I, was, I had a sigh of relief for, for my loved ones, but certainly with the other side of that was like, well, what about the other people? And so it's, you know, there's a lot, a lot going on right now. And, you know, I was thinking just this week, okay, uh, We've got a record earthquake in Mexico City, 8.1. The so far death tolls up to almost 100 people. Um, floods in Indonesia that have, I, I mean, taken out, I mean, displaced millions, displaced millions of people. Um, we and killed, I don't know how many people. We've had Harvey in Texas, and now Irma. The wildfires that are happening oh, out west. Uh, not hearing a thing about those, but they're awful. There, I mean, really a lot going on. The, um, I was, th and of course, North Korea, that's sort of on hold these days. Uh, I haven't heard a thing about that. Um, just keep that energy peaceful. Keep it peaceful. Because we are powerful beings. We can, you know, if we just take responsibility for our own peace, that can settle down all of this, all of this. So it's um, uh, also, I, it brought back a memory. Uh, Two years ago, going to West Virginia for the uh, to see the flood uh, victims up there. I, hate, I don't like that word victim, but those affected by the flood in West Virginia, and that was devastating. That's my home state, um, and to see just blocks and blocks of homes just gutted, literally gone into the river. And so we took some things up, and you see the people with the shell shock and. So it, it is a time that I think we're, uh, we've got a great community here. We've got, you know, it's time for us to really walk our talk and step into this place of healing and being that presence in all we do. Uh, Judy's opportunity is a great start. It's a, a great way that we can, we can offer support to each other and to people in our community who need it. Um, there's many other things that we can do. Ed is proactive, taking action, going down there. We can support Ed in, in that. We can uh, be still and, and just ask what we're supposed to do. You know, it's, and maybe, and this is not making it small at all, but the greatest gift that we can bring to all of this is the peace within ourselves. Truly not reacting trying to or choosing to stay in a place of peace rather than fear and angst you know taking deep breaths uh, peace be still and uh, that's that's the greatest gift because we're all you know this entire universe but let's just put the energy on my oh the solar flares this week that's another thing but uh, uh, so let's just focus on mother earth um, so we're all we're all energetically connected to mother to each other, to the plants, to the animals, to the rocks, to the oceans, everything. We're all part of that. And so energetically, if we truly, the greatest gift we can bring peace to this whole situation, whatever that looks like, not putting an agenda out there, it's not, a, it's not really our business what the outcome is. What is our business <laughs> is to stay in our hearts, stay in peace, and know that 
this is this is a big wild dream we're having and that that this is not the truth of who we are and in truth everything is okay we're eternal beings we are the truth of who I am and the truth of who each and every one of you are is changeless formless and eternal and not affected by this that much and my ego mind reacts analyzes tells the story gets in fear and and guess what that does that rattles the cage and, and amps up the problem doesn't mean that we don't acknowledge this because this is where we're living and this is what we're doing right now but it's really the spirit of how we go through this process and and work through it and just ask to be led but certainly finding and choosing that peace is a huge part of this um, it's uh, it's like, like I just said, it's very easy and tempting to want uh, to stay in the fear and to, you know, to uh, think that that's actually helpful, but it's not. And it's, um, it's normal to want things to be different. It, it is what it is, as our good friend Terry used to tell us and sing to us all the time. It is what it is. But to remember, it's all consciousness. Uh, Yogananda, he says, mind is the creator of everything. You should therefore guide it to create only good. If you cling to certain thoughts with the dynamic power, <clears throat> it finally assumes a tangible outward form. When you're able to employ your will always for constructive purposes, you become the controller of your destiny. So as, as A Course in Miracles, you know, it's about training our mind to choose the, the, which teacher do we choose? The, the teacher of love, the Holy Spirit, which will help us spiral to uh, awaken and see the world differently, be in the world energetically different, be in the dream different, or do we choose to stay in the fear? Now, I, I, I've been addicted to uh, CNN this for many years, but this week, uh, it's been on a lot. Uh, I'll, I'll admit it, uh, but it's, um, but I truly use that as an opportunity for prayer. I, I, I enjoy, not, I guess I enjoy, I like to know what's going on in the world. And I use that as an opportunity to send blessings and love and compassion. I think it's good for some of us, not everybody, to be informed and know what's going on so we can actually hold that space of healing. Um, you know, uh, I love this. Sometimes it seems as though things are falling apart but actually they're falling into place. And I think that's what's happening now in a big way. It's kind of like, okay, we're shaking the cage, you know, we're sifting out all the stuff that we're cl we've clung to in attachment. And you know, the thing is, uh, you don't, through this, and this is the most, uh, this started with 9-11, uh, you know, 2001. Uh, when these cat catastrophic situations happen, all of a sudden, it doesn't matter if you're a Republican or Democrat, if you're Hispanic or black or white, it doesn't matter. You know, those barriers are all broken down. And uh, I think that part of that is for us to recognize that we are all one, that we're not the color of our bodies, we're not separated by what country we live in, what state we live in, but we're just truly all one. So you see these people, souls helping souls, which is really a beautiful, beautiful thing. So in many ways, this is a, an opportunity for healing and things are falling into place. Um, the Course of Miracles, I love this quote. I want the peace of God to say these words is nothing, but to mean these words is everything. If you could but mean them for just an instant, there would be no further sorrow possible for you in any form, in any place, or any time. And just, not to just say it, but I want the peace of God. If we could really accept that, there would be no room left for sorrow. And it even says, just for an instant, I mean, that holy instant, if we could just hold that thought and bring it into our being, nothing would rattle us, nothing would upset us. Uh, it is okay, so practice that. Close your eyes. There's a lesson in the Course of Miracles. I want the peace of God. Above all else, I want the peace of God. Remember that. And if that's our only goal, and that's where James Twyman got us so jazzed up a few weeks ago, you know, be 100% in, okay? 
You know, it's not about uh, just playing small. It's like, okay, I'm in 100%. I want the peace of God more than I want anything out here to be different, more than I want a new car or a vacation. I want the peace of God first. And then let everything else come from that. Um, it's uh, another um, quote from A Course in Miracles. Whatever is true is eternal and cannot change or be changed. Spirit is therefore unalterable because it is already perfect. But the mind can elect what it chooses to serve. The only limit on its choice is that it cannot serve two masters. So, we're always at choice. Which master are we serving? The ego or the Holy Spirit? Love or fear? And 100% in, that's, that's really what the Course requires for us to wake up is to be 100%. We do that by recognizing when I go down that little rabbit hole of fear or anxiety, rather than taking it out to lunch and engaging with it, is uh, taking that pause, choose again. That's what the Course says, that's the miracle. I was anxious, I was upset, I was afraid, I paused and I chose love. I say, Holy Spirit, show me another way to see and be in this situation. And it's magic, it happens. Every time, every single time, it's never failed me in a zillion times. Now, that does depend on my level of sincerity and letting go, okay? So sometimes I go, okay, I want peace. Well, you know, I really don't because I'm still whatever, caught up in whatever. But when I really sincerely ask for it, and, and, and occasionally even that grace comes through when I don't even really want it yet, when it comes through anyway. But it's a practice. It's a discipline. You know, we've got to train ourselves to be and think differently. And while we think differently, we are different. Um, now, Yogananda uses the word evil. And when I say evil, uh, that's a word I don't love, really. Um, but uh, let's just replace that with fear. But he says, don't speak of evil. Don't think of evil. Don't do evil. Be like a rose waf uh, wafting to the sweet fragrance of a soul goodness. Make everyone feel that you are a friend, that you are a helper, not a destroyer. If you want to be good, analyze yourself and develop the virtues in you. Banish the thought that evil has any part in your nature and it will drop off. Make everyone else feel that you are the image of God, not by your words, but by your behavior. Mm -hmm. Emphasize the light and darkness will be no more. Study, meditate, and do good for others. And I think that's so beautiful because it's, um, it, the statement here says, um, if you want to be good, analyze yourself. And I think that that's what the Course of Miracles asks us to do in all spiritual and religious teachings are really saying, Let's look at the, the impediments to the, that veil that keeps us from uh, living in love, being awake. What's keeping us asleep? What am I clinging to? You know, the Course in Miracles says we have to question every belief and value we hold because they're all, they're all upside down and backwards. And they're all keeping us distracted and asleep. So uh, we do that thought by thought, moment by moment. And as we do that, then miracles happen. Um, in closing, uh, I think that this is, is a beautiful short statement. It says, it is in our, in our darkest moments that we must focus to see the light. Mm -hmm. It's a dark time in, in judgment, okay? The ego's judgment, in spirit's judgment, it's all unfolding to something perfect. It's all perfect and it's all divine, but it's feeling pretty dark. Turn to the light, turn to the light, be still. And remember that no beauty shines brighter than that of a good heart. And when I look around here every Sunday and during the week, the hearts are just huge, you know, it's beautiful. The good hearts and the good nature of each and every person here is, is so gratifying and so affirming that, um, you know, we, I love and I, I do want to talk to Joan more about, you know, I don't think I want to uh, <clears throat> create a compound where we're all living and sharing, <laughs> sharing the Course of Miracles that, in that capacity, but how we can bring uh, the Course and really step it into that 
and not only through the course because we are interfaith here where uh, but how we can make that commitment and, and live that commitment and not to say that you all aren't because you're all awesome and uh, remember peace and love prevail on earth and so it is namaste, namaste. namaste.